So insurance really plays a role only in the second scenario, in the two scenarios we talk about, where there isn't enough liquidity to return the tokens to liquidity providers. What's the purpose of insurance? In this specific case, this insurance is to protect the liquidity providers from impermanent loss, only impermanent loss from liquidity providers. In the Nexus Mutual videos that we talked about, there are three main risks, the internal technical risk, the external technical risk, and the third one is it's like the economic risk. And this will kind of be classified as an economic risk because of all these arbitrage, arbitrage traders, their trading and everything, you have, you're suffering this impermanent loss. So how do they structure the insurance? It's a very simple, straightforward way. So if we graph it out based on coverage and time, the first 30 days of you adding liquidity into the pool, you have zero coverage because they don't want people to be putting in for 30 days, do some funny business, get coverage, and then leave. So the first 30 days, you have zero, zero insurance covered. And then after 30 days, you will have additional 1% of coverage every single day until you reach the 100th day where you're covered 100%, and then the rest of the days, you're always covered 100%. So 100% is, is really the, the insurance. So if you only cover 30%, then, then the liquidity pool, they will only return 30% of your impermanent loss. So in other words, put, it more than, put your tokens in for more than 100 days to get 100% coverage. Just a quick refresher, where does the insurance money come from? Where, where do you get all this liquidity? Two things. One is the pool ownership. So in, again, going back to scenario two, if the pool ownership by Bancor, because of co-investment, they will generate some LISA tokens. So these LISA tokens are not used anywhere, so they will be used as insurance coverage. So number one is pool ownership. Number two is minting BNT tokens. If there isn't enough for pool ownership to cover, then the system will be, will be minting BNT tokens that, of the equivalent amount of impermanent, impermanent loss and give it back to liquidity providers.